Howdy arty aliens and welcome. I'm Paul Yateman. Amongst other things, I draw stuff. In today's video, I am drawing a female in much the same way as my male protagonist from a few days ago. That's the one with the exposed teeth. And I am drawing another girl with unmodified facial features, just more or less as a reference. For the inspiration for this drawing, I am using a face from page 120 of the Complete Idiots Guide to Drawing Manga Illustrated and my reference is now on screen. For the digital component, I will be reusing the same ones I used for my previous work and the colouring will not be quite as detailed. It took me about 20 minutes for the traditional section here and about 40 for the digital. Today I am presenting about 95% of the work. I did some additional touching up today which entailed about two minutes of adding highlights to the lady. On my day 16 of my hashtag manga challenge, I drew the normal female. Often when I'm copying an existing drawing, I will not bother with construction lines and that's what I didn't bother with today. And also on day 17. I find that when I do use construction lines, the work comes out much, much, much better. Uh, that being said, I find it is good to mix up techniques when you are learning, however. Day 17 saw the day 16 piece duplicated, more or less, and modified along the lines of a previous drawing of mine, which you can see on screen about now. As I am drawing a female face, I draw the teeth smaller and finer, as that is one way to indicate you're drawing a girl. Uh, the facial structure and eyes and hair also help a lot. I should note that on day 16, I used my 2mm clutch pencil for the sketch. While on day 17 I used a 0.5mm mechanical pencil which I impulse bought from the store when I picked up a craft paper sketch pad earlier today. So I'm thinking about doing a video or two using this craft paper which is just yeah, the Google brown paper sketch pad. Probably better for um, pencils but it might work with markers. I guess maybe I can do a how to or let's check things out video. Anyway I'll waffled along a bit there so... Once I have completed the blue pencil sketch, I scan in everything and then I get stuck into the line art. I'm not bothering to pay much attention to line variation or anything that I would bother with in a feature piece and I'm using my new 0.6mm uni pin which I also picked up at the store today. Before I got into the Photoshop work, I'd made some changes to the background from my previous work that just involved adding colours and details to the entire background. The other day I only worked on what could be seen, not just the background in total, and I used a different photo of the stars of mine just because I could. When I coloured in Photoshop, I first extracted the line work and then pasted into today's work, rearranging things a little and adding layers for colour and shadow, and immediately before writing today's script, a layer for the highlights. The lighting source is from the top left based on what the viewer sees and I actually keep this in mind when colouring and that is something I tend just to autopilot. As I'm being pretty slack, both girls are pink. I just remember that when I drew the redhead's hair I based that loosely on a fashion croquet from a few days earlier and I should be showing that on the screen now and pretty much made up all of it and I think the other half comes out okay based on that all things considered. Sometimes when I am blocking in colour, I paint around the edges in a small brush and then make it bigger and block the colour. Sometimes I use the selection tool and sometimes the pen tool. When using the selection tool, I find if you click the mouse too fast, it selects everything and then you've got to undo it and start again, which is a waste of time. Either of these three ways works, though the quickest is the pen tool and saving the path would help if I later wanted to change things or keep an area bound when colouring. Not so important for a hack piece such as this one, though in a production environment you'd probably want to do this as it would speed up your workflow and you wouldn't waste time remapping an area. And time is generally money. My highlights and shadows are just the main colour that has been selected and then lightened or darkened with the colour tool and then added in either a light or multiply layer. One of the final things I did today was add a green overlay which I don't think shows up at all, so why did I bother? Rightio, here's my work in blue pencil. Here it is after adding fine liner. 
here is the finished piece. So what do you think? Can you do better? Show me. If you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you got ideas to your own sketchbook or were inspired to draw, etc., subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you've been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, take care, and happy drawing.